Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventure to Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic of Newton's Laws. The title is Match That Free Body Diagram. This is sometimes uh, abbreviated FBD. Free Body Diagrams, that's the key for this. Uh, that's what we're going to be learning primarily here in this video. Um, Newton's first law, I'm assuming you have already studied that, that an object will maintain its current velocity unless an unbalanced force acts upon it. Okay, so if it's going at a constant velocity, the forces will be balanced. If unless they're unbalanced, if they're unbalanced, then that means the velocity is changing. Um, if you need some uh, review of Newton's first law, go ahead and look at this video that I'm linking, and you can see several examples of Newton's first law. Um, here we have next week. I'm assuming you know the six types of forces mentioned in recognizing forces, which are air resistance, tension, gravity, normal force, friction, and applied force. So if you're unfamiliar with those, go to this link and review those. Moving on, we're going to go through uh, four or five examples here. Um, of applying this after I describe what a free body diagram is. So a free body diagram is uh, usually a box that represents an object. So in this case, a car is parked on a horizontal driveway. So this box is representing the car. Then we draw arrows pointing out from the center here to show um, the different forces that are pushing on the car. So in this case, the car is parked on a horizontal driveway. As we know, anything near Earth has the force of gravity pushing down on it. Um, since this is not accelerating down, there must be something pushing up with an equal amount of force, and that would be the cement on the driveway or the asphalt or whatever kind of driveway it is. Um, and so uh, we have the normal force. I think they might use a lowercase m there, um, but F normal. All right, um, and those are the only two forces. It is important to note that they are both the same length, okay? You can identify that because they might have two segments each or three segments each or just one segment each, and that would indicate that they're the same length, but they must be the same because this is not accelerating up or down. We have a leftward moving shuffleboard puck is slowing down as it slides toward the target. Okay, well, we know there's always gravity. Okay, the force of gravity. Okay, and we know that this is not uh, moving up or down, changing speed up or down. So there must be a force here since it's sliding along the cement. The normal force must be the same as gravity. Once again, look for the same number of little hash marks, meaning that both of those are two segments long. But now it's moving towards the left, okay? So we have a velocity towards the left, okay? So the, And if it's slowing down, it must be being pushed against the direction it's currently moving. So it must be being pushed this way. Well, what's pushing it? Well, it's, it's in contact with another surface, the cement, and they're sliding past each other. So that would be the frictional force. Okay, fricked is how they abbreviate that. Okay, and that would be it. Um, the, the, something that's moving along the ground, uh, they tend to ignore the air resistance force. You could have a second force here going this way, labeled air resistance but you won't see them do that in this concept builder. If it's moving along the ground, you just have friction. Air resistance is a type of friction anyways, so that makes a lot of sense. All right, a rock climber is rappelling down a cliff and speeding up. That means he is hanging from a rope and lowering himself down. Um, so if we take a look at this, we know gravity is pulling him down. Gravity, forgot the F, so F sub grav. Um, let's make that three lines long. And then we know that there's a rope that he's hanging from. So there is a tension here. I think they do F tens for that. Um, could be lowercase tens. And uh, then the question, is that longer or shorter? Well, he's speeding up 
while his velocity is down, that means we must have a bigger force down, the unbalanced force is down, so we could make the upward one two and the bottom one three. We could have made the upward one, uh, could have made this upward one one long and this one too long, but the bottom one has to be longer so that it'll speed up as it's moving down. Okay, all right. Now, a rock is thrown off a cliff, and after being released, it is traveling down and to the right. Assume that air resistance is negligible. So notice here they say that you're supposed to ignore air resistance. Um, and, and never never actually throw a rock off a cliff. There could be somebody below you. And I go hiking sometimes near cliffs, so please don't throw rocks off because I don't want to be on the bottom of that. Thank you. Um, so, uh, well, we know gravity is always pulling down the force of gravity. Okay, and let's see, is anything pulling it up? No air resistance, there's no rope attached, there's nobody touching it anymore, it says after it's been thrown. Um, there's, it's not touching any other surfaces, so there's no normal or no friction, so that's it. If something's in the air and there's no air resistance, then um, if air resistance is negligible or doesn't isn't being accounted for, then the only force will be gravity, and that's that. All right, and next, I think this is our last one. Joe is pushing on a book, causing it to speed up as it moves across a table. Okay, so it seems to be sliding across a table. First of all, we're on Earth, so there is gravity. Okay, it's on a table, and it's still on the table the whole time, so it's not going up or down, so the normal force and gravity must be the same length. They could be one, two, or three, um, as long as they're both the same. And then it's being it's speeding up. This problem needs to tell us what direction it's going. I apologize for that. Let's say it's going to the right. It would say Joe is pushing on a book, causing it to move, causing it to speed up as it moves to the right across the table. Or Joe is pushing rightward on a book, something like that. So it is moving to the right, okay, and so that means Joe is pushing it to the right because he's making it speed up, so he must be pushing the same way. So we have force app or force applied, okay, and it's on a table. There's no indication this is a frictionless table, so we need to have friction, okay, and uh, we know that it's speeding up. It's speeding up and moving to the right, that's why I drew the rightward force bigger, because we had to have extra force here going the direction it was moving in order to make it speed up. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed learning with us. Go and puzzle those out on uh, physicsclassroom.com. And um, if you enjoyed this video, click the like and subscribe button. But if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. And we'll see you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.